Let's get two of you out here. Going to be the wedge. Guys, we already got a tether here, so I might as well utilize that. What I like to use when a pulley does to have this feature is what's called a Bachman knot. My anchor and my system, and I'm gonna undo it first to show you how it works, and then we'll show you how to do it back up here. A lot of body in the water in my boat. I'm not saying don't go beyond that, I'm just saying you're making conscious decisions at that point. So, with conduction, what am I sitting on right now? My phone pads. A little bit chilly out here still. I see, look around here, you guys are almost all sitting on some sort of pad. Why is this? Yeah, the ground's cold. And we're sitting in direct contact. What's happening there is we lose heat very, very rapidly. We get somebody out of the water, we bring them up on shore. We need to set them on something that is not cold. It does not cause them to lose heat to that object. So setting them on a boat, setting them on someone else's life jacket, doing something to get to break that direct contact with the ground. We want to lose that conductive heat loss and then, of course, radiation. What is radiative heat loss? That's me sitting here right now. You got a thermal camera, you're gonna see these this heat waves coming off of me. Anything we put across them helps break radiative heat loss. Because what's making them cold at that point in time? The fact that they're wet, right? So we always wanna attack problems. We don't wanna go after the side effects. We don't wanna go after the result. We wanna go after the problem itself and solve the problem. The problem here is they're wet. So let's get them dry quickly. Get them stripped out, get dry clothes on them if that's what they need. If it's people who have gone in the water and they do not have dry clothes, we didn't bring dry clothes, we kind of dropped the ball on this. If they're wearing synthetics, we're better off just taking all that off them, wringing it out completely, drying it as well as possible quickly, and then getting it back on them if we do not have dry stuff to put on them. But there's other things we're going to do, other interventions that we're going to talk about here in a few minutes. But getting them dry, but if people are cold, we talked about the umbles, one of those things being the stumbling and bumbling, and chasing somebody back and forth on a riverbank is going to have a potentially detrimental effect on the rest of my day and theirs too. They're going to lose, they're going to lose the heat that they need exactly. to Exactly. We're actually taking that warm core, pushing it to the outside, cold to the inside, and on top of that, they're more likely to fall and get injured, so now we've got a cold hurt person, not just a cold person. And that's not always the case. If they're just a little chilly, sure, getting them moving is certainly a reasonable thing. But if we got a person who's actually cold and shaking, we need to warm them. And what warms them is not burning that last reserve of fuel. What burns, warms them is drying them and getting more fuel on board. Feed them, they need fuel. We don't want to burn any more of their fuel until we're replacing that fuel. We need to get that fuel on board. So at that point in time, what we're looking at here is getting quick, easily accessible calories in the form of sweet drinks. Warm sweet drinks are even more happy for them because they're going to want to drink sweet it. You're not going to have to push them nearly as hard. So like hot chocolate, even warm Gatorade, things like that. But something that's got a lot of available sugar in it. Mm -hmm. So think about this. We were out here making a fire yesterday. We took a bunch of tinder, took paper, took some fire starter, put lots of twigs on top of that. And we got that going first. We started the fire burning. Once it got going, what did we do next? Put bigger pieces on, more stuff on. So we go from this really simple sugar, we get sugars on board, then we're putting some carbs in there, and eventually building up to more proteins and more complex foods. But we need real fuel. Here's the challenge. We're gonna start them off with just some quick sugars, some, some carbs. That burns really fast, just like that paper that we put in there. If we do not put more sticks on the fire, then they're gonna burn through it really fast, and they can actually wind up worse than when we started especially if they already have a sugar type problem that's pre-existing and we get that, build them up, build them up and that also in increases the amount of insulin production. So we can wind up with this crash that could be worse than what we started with. So there's just something to think about. Give them that good sugars, carbs, get them warm, but also give them real food to eat, something more substantial. So moving on down this, we need fuel and of course Hydration is what we already talked about. Hydrate them. What do we hydrate them with? Water. Water's awesome. Okay, what do we want to avoid? Caffeine. Avoid caffeinate, caffeinated drinks. Yeah, sure. Mm. Uh, but there's one primary. Alcohol. alcohol. Yeah, there it is. Say it all together. Alcohol. What we need to do for her? Dry. Get her dry. And as long as she has decent mental status, we're going to do what else? 
feed her, her, water her. Obviously, <laughs> people who are unresponsive are not going to try and get any fuel on board. But if a person is able to eat and drink, we're going to injure people are more prone to hypothermia. <laughs> sure, go for Try it. that on. This is the made of <laughs> This is what they look like when they're folded up. Feel the weight of that. Oh, this is nice. It weighs nothing. That's what it's, Ooh, that's I want what it's one of these. You're ready for Halloween. They're like 12 bucks, you know? Yeah. What an enough. awesome insurance policy. we got oh, larger, really heavier nice. ones. These right here have an actual fabric lining. Really nice. But this is a two-person bag. Those work pretty well. Mm -hmm. so there's just a few thoughts on that. So these commercial products are great. Plastic sheeting though, and Justin's exposed me to an idea that I didn't have previously, and that's using Tyvek. Mm -hmm. Using Tyvek, that's pretty cool. I've got Perry sleeping bags on the river. I've also got one about this size. This is the sleeping bag. I've got one made by Marmot that's designed to be relatively non-absorbent, called Powder Plus, and it's these tiny little sleeping bags. You can have them around. They work pretty good. They don't weigh much of anything. And other things that might be worth carrying, talk about those warm drinks. Obviously, we start patient care now. We do not let them sit there and keep getting colder while we screw around in a wet day, trying to use matches and make a fire. We need to warm them from the inside. A fire is nice. It's great for positive mental attitude, but the fire is not what saves people. What saves people is getting the problem fixed. The problem is being wet, being out of fuel, being out of hydration. That's what actually saves people. That's what makes the difference. Fires are nice, but this stuff's got to happen first. Okay, so metal cups, we've got candles and matches in here. A great way to make a warm drink. Cool, make some hot chocolate, do something like that. Okay, so we've done all of this. We've looked at these different products that are out there. And now we're gonna look at another thing. Would you like to be the cold person okay, again? Cold. Great, so let's pull this sleeping bags off of here. There. And the corner for you, Steve. Excellent. Corner for you, Chris. And a corner for you. So what I'd like for you guys to do is now center her under this. Center it under it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now lift it up in the air. Great. Now turn around into it, into the space. Now pull this all down around you guys. Get this all under your feet and everything else. Great. Sit down. Woo! Cool. Oh, this is nice. Ah, so what did we just create here? We created a heater. Oven. Yeah, I made a little oven here. Kind of a greenhouse. For those of you who garden in cold climates, it's a cold frame. It's going to take that the solar radiation we've got coming in here, help trap that. We're breaking the evaporative loss, convective loss, making sure that everybody's sitting on something, breaking the conduction. So we're solving all these different problems all in one fell swoop here. How's it feeling under there? Very warm. Yeah? Excellent. Yeah.